Hello, this is Abiela David. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show us how to look up values in VBA user form using the XLOOKUP function. So let's get started. Now we have the sales records in our sales records sheet tab. Now if you look at the sample data, we have the order ID, date, customer name, product, unit sold, price, shipping cost, and total. Now what we want to do essentially is to write some line of codes in the Visual Basic for application that will automatically retrieve all these records based on the specified order ID. Now, I'm going to deploy on my keyboard Alt F11, which opens the VBA editor. Now, I've already created a user form. So when I click on this broad button, okay, let's click on this, run. Now we have this sales management system. Okay, now these are my command combo box rather. So they are empty and we have these text boxes, they are empty. Now in the command buttons, we have retrieve records and clear records, they are all empty. Now for the other ID, this combo box, I want to list all the other ID so that when I click on this drop down, I'll be able to select any interesting other ID that I want to display. Now to do that, I'm going to just close this momentarily, Alt tab to go back to Excel. So I'm going to format my data in an Excel table. So click Control T inside the data set and I click on OK. And we have our data created in an Excel table. Next one, I'm going to open and um, create named range. So I'm going to just do Control Shift down arrow key with the heading, Control backspace, then Control Shift F3 which opens the create names selection so we are fine with the top row because our label is in the top row so i click on ok ok all right that's been created yes replace now when i click on this button we have the name range which is order underscore id that's cool alt f11 to go back to the vba now i'm going to just come into this um, combo box and the name of the combo box is combo box order ID. Now I want to scroll down and look for what is called the row source. Okay, let me just move this up. So in the row source, okay, let's see. Okay, this is my row source. I'm going to carefully type in the named range I just created, which is order underscore ID. Then very importantly, I need to click on the enter button or OK on the keyboard and that's fine. So when I press F5 to run this and I click on this drop down, amazing. Can you see that we have all the list of the order ID, which is cool. Now that's just one of the things we want to do. So let's deal with the writing of code that will automatically retrieve all the values for the date, customer name, products, and so on and so forth based on what we have in the spreadsheet. So let's close this for now. Now, I'm going to click on this retrieve records. And of course, we have this private saw command retrieve records on this click. Okay, now in here, I'm going to write my code. So I'm going to say me dot. Now, the first thing I have, I mean, the, the first uh, column I want to do with is the date column. So I'm going to say me dot um, txt. Now, the name of the, of the, okay, let me just show you this what I mean. Come right in here. So the name of my text box is txt date for date and we have txt customer name so we have it in that order txt product and so on and so forth now let's go ahead and write our code so i'm going to say me.txt date dot value equals to application dot worksheet function dot then we're going to deploy the x lookup function this one of the magical functions so press my tab key now open parenthesis now the xlookup has three mandatory argument as we know arguments one two three so for the argument one two three the first argument is the lookup value so my lookup value is going to be whatever that i select in the command sorry combo box which is the order id so i'm going to say me port combo box order id dot value Okay, comma. So for the argument two, which is the lookup array, so I'm going to put in this sheet, then open parenthesis, and inside double quotation, I need to provide the name of the sheet tabs, which is sales space records, 
that has to be accurate close the double quotes and close this now let's let me move my screen so i can see what i'm doing clearly okay okay comma dot range open parenthesis and double quote okay now inside the double quote we need to provide the range so the range is going to be like just move this down okay that's going to be um a1 to a2 rather to okay, let's just see clearly okay we have a2 to a101 all right so let's just move this so we're going to type in a2 colon a one zero zero then i can close this one now then comma so let's continue in the second line now for the argument three which is the return array now what do i want to return i want to return the date which is in column b right you have the date in column b okay press my tab key so i'm going to say again um sheets open parenthesis then i need the name of the sheet okay um double quote sales records and then i close close dot range and i open parenthesis double quote now inside the double quote what i want to return is going to be b2 colon b101 and i close that up and that is fine so the fourth fifth and sixth argument of the x lookup are optional so i'm going to just close my um x lookup and that's fine so let's just run this okay just only one on this when i press f9 and let's select um other id now when i click on this retrieve record amazing so that gives us 11th of february 2020 now let's see the number okay this is it can you see in number five that is accurate 11 12 2020 that's awesome so i'm going to just close that and let's return to our code so i'm going to just copy all these Control c Control v let's paste as much as we need to okay so i'm going to just be doing some little editing let me copy this Control c just paste in here so that we have an accurate number control v okay now for this i'm going to just um quickly change this now this is going to be c2 to c101 now i'm going to just speed this up and i'm going to see you in the next few seconds okay welcome back okay so these are all the codes we need to actually write that will do the magic for us now the first one is me.txt date.value and we put in our xlookup and all the required input value for the argument so the next one is going to be customer name product txt unit sold price shipping cost and total okay so this is going to be column b and this is handling for column C where we have the customer name and this is handling for column D where we have the product column A for unit sold F for price and shipping cost for G finally column H that handles the total now let's just move this can you see so column A we have the other ID column B we have the date which is accurate column c we have the customer name which is what we have here column d we have the product e and so on and so forth this is all that we need so this one do not need to change the lookup array remains a2 to a101 across all of the columns okay because that is the array where the lookup value is situated now that's all so when i eat F F5 rather to run the code so we have everything ready so I can just click on this drop down and choose anyone that I want so let's choose three records and this automatically comes up which is 20th of February 2020 and the name of the customer is Janet Martin now let's check here okay one zero down here now we have one zero zero seven in rule number nine 20th of February 2020 Janet Martin 
the product is condiment the unit sold is 50 uh, the unit sold uh, we have the unit price 756 can you see we have 50 for the unit sold 759 rather not 6 759.5 and we have um, 759.5 and for the shipping cost 4.81 naira that is what we have here and the total is 37,970.19 so let's check okay we have 37,970.19 now this is absolutely magical so we can see that we can use the powerful xlookup function to look up values even inside the VBA user form I hope you've learned something new in this video. If you do, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel because the best is yet to come. And click on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Give likes and comments. Thank you and bye.